Alrighty, so I am dangerously close to hitting a True Awakened character. I, I really don't want to worry about True Awakening characters at all, basically, um, until I get my complete box level 100 SA6. I've talked about this in several videos at this point, so I'm not going to elaborate too much on that. But um, I already have, they, they gave us one True Awakening coin from the uh, the tower, the event tower of trials for this collab. And I did have a bunch of extra uh, gold coins. So I just, I went ahead and bit the bullet on it. I made two of them. So I have those. I have the legendary seals that I need to make one. Um, I'm just, I'm one short on demons and I'm a couple short on fairies and goddess characters. So I think what I'm gonna do here, I have, 68 of these boxes i'm just gonna open them one at a time until i hit level one or a uh, hundred of these stones on whatever and then we'll just pick a character that i want to true awaken out of that race because i'm not the only reason i haven't opened them is because i don't want these to just take up a ton of extra space in my inventory i'm very inventory space conscious in this game for whatever reason so we're just going to open them if i get any demon ones uh it's going to be a demon because that's the one that i'm closest to so playing a little bit of roulette here okay we get a goddess one first, so now we're at 96 on goddesses. Okay, okay. And then what's our next one gonna be? Okay, we get humans. I do really like the human team, but I'm quite a bit behind on humans. Next one is, okay, another human, so I know that I'm not to 100 yet on that. Uh, okay, well, it, that was gonna be the most likely scenario. It was more than likely gonna be demons regardless, but hey, it is what it is. So I think out of the demon lineup, I would probably prefer to go with Estorosa, if I'm being completely honest. I think Estorosa is a really, really nice character to have on the field uh, because of the stats and stuff you get from him. And Encroachment's really nice, and he has a little bit of ult gauge control as well, which is pretty cool. So that could be pretty helpful. Um, and just you know, having him have a little bit of extra, you know, CC, a little bit of extra damage reduction could go a long way because realistically, you're going to be running him, New Melee, and Demon King. If your New Melee has some decent uh, orbs on, regardless, he's going to have a lot of defense related stats, which should kind of help him tank anyway. Demon King has a damage cap on, and he's really squishy at that. So either the damage cap is going to save him with the Tarmia Link, or they're going to infect him and kill him regardless. So it's not going to matter too much. So I really do think that Estorosa is probably the best option. I could potentially do a backliner, so we could pick like Demon Cusack, for example. But the damage reduction is going to be null and void with him being in the back line so it's, we're not even going to get to see that sort of take effect so i i think that uh i think that esterosa is going to be my first ever true awakened character which is pretty fitting because i really like this character i i do think that he's super cool we're going to hit 70k cc and 10 percent damage resistance is going to be added to his stats so uh, is there a special animation for this i've actually not seen this at all it kind of just looks like the regular awakened animation but maybe it's a different color. It is a cool animation. I, I always skip these animations, so it's it's cool to see it. But uh, hey, True Awakened Estorosa. All right. So there is my first True Awakened. Uh, we'll keep it kind of short. Let me just throw him into a little bit of PvP real quick. I mean, obviously, Demon Team is going to be... Woo boy, so exciting in PvP, of course, because it's not like you guys don't see the Demon Team every single day of your lives if you play PvP, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. So, I'm going to go into Ungeared, I guess? We'll just play, like, maybe one or two games really quickly. I know that we're in the middle of a collab, but... Um Kind of just interested to see like if it's noticeable at all. I've, I've obviously played against a couple of uh, teams that already have their characters True Awakened. And sometimes they do seem really tanky, but other times I just think that it's probably because they have high box CC and it's not actually that big of a deal. So um, it, it that's the only reason I haven't really undertaken the... Uh, you know, like I haven't just d jumped into the deep end and started True Awakening characters already. But... Um, you know, maybe just a little bit of personal preference on that one from me. So let me throw the Saria link on ya boy, and then we will switch the... I guess we'll put... Does he have, like, a defense, sort of? I don't think so. Well, she's defense technically, but these are really bad links. So I think we'll just throw on, like, the Escanor as a link here. 
I, I can already see that my CC is pretty good with this team. Um, let's actually throw on maybe evasion food to go second, if possible. I do have high CC. Um, and we'll see how well he can kind of tank. I'm interested. I don't even know if they'll plan on focusing him, for example, but... Um, I, yeah, I don't know. True Awakening is kind of hit or miss, I feel like. It's not one of those things that I'm, like, incredibly excited to to, to mess with. Um, which I guess is kind of a good thing for me, because I really do want to focus on maxing out my box first. So, um, in the long run, I'm probably happier to not worry about it right now anyway. So, okay, is going for Esterosa. I do have the cool little spikies. I've noticed that the spikes on it are either silver or gold. I don't know if it's like if it's gold if they're six six or if there's some sort of specifics to that. But um, yeah, I don't know. He took a lot of damage there. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. So so far, not incredibly excited about that. Um, if this eats it, we don't have to worry about Melly getting too many extra stats or anything. Or, like, uh, orbs. So I guess that'll be kind of nice. We can maybe throw this out. Uh, actually, let's do this into this into this. Maybe better to single target instead. But this will at least get me the one orb that I'm missing here. And it is going to give them attack-related stats, which is probably a bad call on my end. But if he keeps focusing Esterosa, uh, he kind of has to swap targets now. Uh, okay, I mean, I'm going to do big damage with Melee if he doesn't kill Melee. I'm going to do big damage with um, Demon King because I'm going to pop stats if he doesn't kill, you know, Demon King. So, I think he's cooked. I think he's cooked here. So, we haven't put on any sort of big... Uh, debuffs or anything, so he doesn't have a whole lot of, you know, defense-related stats here, so we can go for this, this, and then I would hope that that would kill, but I'm going to risk it and do it on him just in case. I really hope it hits Bon, but it's very possible that uh, if this kills, it might end up hitting King, which would be a bit lackluster, but here is this. It does hit King, unfortunately, uh, so that is... I should have target. I should have been more confident in my units, but there have been scenarios where I don't target the right, you know, units, and uh, it doesn't kill, and then I end up, you know, dropping the ball because I I did put debuffs on there. So if I didn't kill Melly, he was probably going to gain some orbs, get all creation, blah 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 blah. You know, you know the drill by now. Um, so I just wanted to play it safe. He does get dropped down to two cards there anyway. Um, so like, uh. I guess technically we could do it like this to gain max um, seeds on the enemy for the uh, the AOE here with melee. But yeah, five six ultimate on him is gonna do good. I, you know, Esterosa died, so the showcase is not uh, as good there. We're gonna throw one more in just to just so this isn't like an incredibly short video. But um, let's throw one more evasion boot on, and we'll see how it goes. I. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> it is what it is so far. All right, we have, ooh, okay, an angel team. His CC is quite low, so I don't think that this is gonna be the greatest representation, but uh, it is what it is. So let's go ahead and infect here. He's gonna be able to cleanse it off, but I think I can get some pretty good damage out um, on the Liz here before the Tarmiel link sort of screws me a little bit, so. Um, Okay, a little bit of damage, a little bit of darkness stacks. Level 2 single target here with melee. Turn 1, obviously not incredibly impressive there. Um, could get encroachment, but it's not going to matter because Mael is still alive on the field. No AoEs, unfortunately, besides melees. So I'm not incredibly happy about that. I mean, we'll, Esterosa will technically do more damage with the Covert Action skill uh, per stack of darkness on so i mean might not be the worst thing in the world but what what uh okay hits the evasion there which is good for me uh is this aoe single target okay single target on him it didn't do too much she can deal some pretty da uh, pretty good damage even at lower stacks so i'm not gonna say anything yet i kind of want to get rid of 
the Mael, if possible. I don't know that that's going to be super possible. He didn't debuff me basically at all there, so that's a bit unfortunate. Um, I'm just going to throw these out. I did that in the wrong order, but I'm getting... <laughs> my, my timer is... <laughs> Uh, I, I feel like I just end up sitting here, blank staring, trying to think very hard about a move that isn't going to be that crazy in the first place sometimes, and then I end up rushing myself. So, uh, PvP Master at work here, as you can see. Uh, we will pop stats on DK here. He does not have an infect. I don't think that there's a way, unless he just has like three really heavy hitting cards, there's not going to be a way for him to... Um, kill my DK here. I don't think. I could be wrong, but I don't think. He could stun, but I'll get cleansed. He puts debuffs on, um, which is good for me, because now Melee is going to get all creation, which means this AoE is going to go crazy. Does not do that much damage in the first place. And now we're in a pretty good spot, I would say. So let's go ahead and do something like this. Actually, let's do something like this, this, so that way we can encroach. Um, the, like, the stats will go away if that kills, and then we can use the AoE here, which I'm I'm hoping does some pretty decent damage. So there's that. That already does good, and they're infected now, so that's awesome. Single target does kill him off, so they should be able to be stat lowered now into big damage. Profit. Nice. She did have the... Um, the res stack on though, so shouldn't be a huge deal. If we can get a single target for Melee, uh, that'd be awesome because we have all creation ready. But we have his ultimate as well, and he doesn't have ult removal. He could potentially have an, gotten a stun there. Oh, he's at max stacks anyway, so he actually can stun Melee, no problem. So there's the stun on Melee. Uh, it is what it is. We still have really good cards in hand. Does kill my Esterosa. If, if he would have survived there, I would have completely chalked it up to the uh, the True Awakening, but um, it just didn't work. Uh, we removed the debuff, actually, so it doesn't matter. We're going to stat lower. We're going to... Yeah, okay. Fair enough. Um, I don't know. Let me know your thoughts on True Awakening, because honestly, I do think that it's a little bit of a, a, a lackluster system. I, I think a lot of people were like super crazy about it whenever it first came out and they were like, oh my god, like this whole new system is going to be insane. I really think it's that worrisome to invest into. Like, I mean, obviously, you know, your, your, your account CC and, you know, Constellation and stuff has a big part to do with your characters as well, but uh, I think the buffs that you get for the amount of SA coins and LR seals and stuff you have to invest into it, I just don't really think it's worth it, personally, but let me know. Either way, First True Awakening character in the box. Now, uh, I, I think every time I... Uh, well, I, I sort my box, unfortunately, but if I didn't and I went by the normal sorting standards with favorites, uh, I think it's favorites and descending, actually. It uh, Esterosa will be right up here at the top, which is kind of cool. So it'll be all of my LR characters and then Esterosa because he's True Awakened. I'll never look at it like that because I'm always in Heroes Ascending. So it <laughs> doesn't matter. Thanks for watching. Hopefully it was enjoyable. Feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you tomorrow.